President Trump has left Los Angeles and just made a big introduction on the tarmac at LAX. Marine One landed just within the last hour, carrying the president and his new choice for national security advisor, Robert O'Brien. O'Brien is from Southern California and has degrees from UCLA and UC Berkeley and is a founding partner of a local law firm. He's currently serving as special presidential envoy for hostage affairs at the State Department. O'Brien will be replacing John Bolton, who left the post last week. And he already faces a major crisis. The U.S. is now taking its first action in response to a drone and missile strike on Saudi oil facilities this weekend. President Trump tweeted this morning, I have just instructed the Secretary of the Treasury to substantially increase sanctions on the country of Iran. And Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in Saudi Arabia soon after the Kingdom's defense ministry held a press conference to unveil evidence of Iran's involvement in the attack. Reporters asked O'Brien and the president about the situation moments ago. Yeah, so we're looking at those issues now and getting briefed up. And I think Secretary Pompeo is in Saudi Arabia now or is just coming home. And uh, uh, any, any advice I give the president will be something I give him uh, confidentially. But we're, we're monitoring that situation closely. We haven't learned much that we didn't know. But, but there, is, there is a certain... Uh, uh, a guarantee factor. We're really at a point now where we know very much what happened. And of course, it is no secret that it has been a whirlwind trip for the president. CBS 2's Kara Finstrom is live in downtown L.A. with a wrap up of his visit to L.A. Kara, good morning. Good morning, DeMarco. Well, after a morning of heightened security here with Secret Service agents, take a look. They're now breaking down all of those barricades, trying to get things back to normal downtown. Let's get right to a look at the presidential motorcade as it did pull out from the Wilshire Grand Center at around 10 this morning. The White House had alerted news media that after spending the night here, the president would take part in a breakfast fundraiser somewhere in L.A. Because of the timing, it now appears that actually happened inside the center. As a result, downtown streets remained shut down all morning. Some folks stood behind the barricades waiting to get to work. Others came with their cell phone cameras ready. I'm just hoping I get a, a peek at our president. Um, I'm here on training, so this is really exciting for me to be here. There's a lot of security here. Um, it's actually very impressive to see um, how they're keeping our president safe. The president reignited debate over the homelessness crisis during his flight to the L.A. area while on Air Force One. He told reporters L.A. and other cities shouldn't be allowed to, in his words, destroy themselves. Today, Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson is also in L.A. He's expected to meet with Police Chief Michael Moore to talk about possible federal solutions and is scheduled to attend a forum on revitalizing South L.A. Last week, the president sent a team here to examine the local response and discussed forcibly removing people. Some local leaders charged he's politicizing the crisis. Also during the president's trip, some clashes between demonstrators and his supporters. Police and tactical gear responded outside the Beverly Hills Hotel when things got physical. There were no arrests, and most of the demonstrations and gatherings we saw were peaceful. And DeMarco and Suzanne, we can also tell you that uh, the president was here largely, largely to fundraise. He had a number of events across California.